Hey, how you doing? My name is Emilio, and today we've got ourselves these Kogan Smart Lights. These are the GU10 connectors. Essentially, they are uh, down lights. These particular ones, I'm gonna set them up outdoors. I'm go I've got a couple of up-down lights against some pillars in the front of my house. I can schedule them to turn on and off automatically which is really, really cool. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these into our existing Amazon uh, smart home devices, essentially over Alexa so that I can control them, I can turn them on and off and schedule it, essentially adding them to my entire smart home set of all my other lights and other smart home devices. So let's just open one of these up. So here is a standard manual, essentially a start guide, as well as your warranty information. Here's a light globe. Cool. So we're going to go and set this up inside my up-down light. We've got old globes removed, which were not smart, and we're going to add this one in. The next step is once they are plugged in, we need to set them into what's sort of called like a discovery mode. They need to be flashing on and off. We've got our iPhone, we're doing the setup here on our iPhone. If you're on Android, that's fine, but essentially we're gonna be downloading the software for the Kogan lights, uh, and then we're gonna go through the configuration and the setup of one of these, and then adding them into our Amazon application as well. Okay, so first things first is to download the Kogan Smarter Home app. So here it is, Kogan Smarter Home. Let's open it up. So first things first is to register for a Kogan account. Uh, if you don't have one of these, you'll need to go through this step. If you do have one, you can just log in with an existing account. Registration is just very straightforward. You then select your country and then your email address and then get verification code. You'll be emailed a registration code that you input into the application. The next step is now to add a device through the network. Select add device. So once the light is plugged in, you now need to add it. Uh, so we're gonna select uh, lighting and outdoor bulb, and we're gonna select add manually. Now that it is plugged in, it's ready to go. So you now need to get your light flashing as you see it right here. So essentially your light is now powered on. Click on essentially our power switch, on, off, on, off, on, as it says right there. And then the light should sort of go into like a discovery mode. We can then select that red button. So with it flashing, the next step is now to enter your Wi-Fi password. Now this will only work over a 2.4 gigahertz network. It's now trying to connect to your device and it will start to search for it. And once it's found, it will go and register it. So after it's found it, there it is. You've got a Kogan light. Of course, yours will be named differently. And we're just gonna give it a meaningful name by renaming it. I'm gonna be calling it Outdoor Right because it is my outdoor right light. And done. I can then easily switch the light on and off just by clicking right on my screen. The next step is now to get it set up with my Amazon range of products. If you don't have the app, you'll have to obviously download it, set it up, get it configured. We're gonna go and open up the application. Now we need to essentially allow the, uh, the Kogan device to have access to now learn the skill of your Kogan device, right? So what you have to do is we're gonna click on more in the bottom corner there, select skills and games. We're gonna search for smart home. Smarter home, there it is, the very top hit. And we now need to select enable to use. So remember that when we created the account itself, uh, you input in your email address and you, and you verified it with a password. So now you will need to input that email address and the password to essentially uh, log in and then link or pair those two accounts together. So login has been successful, which is great. We now can see Alexa by Amazon will be able to receive and public profile control your devices over internet. This is against the Kogan account. So select authorize. Hopefully you'll see in this screen and if you are, great. Everything has now been linked successfully. You can easily add these by just clicking on the plus and saying add device, selecting light and then scrolling down to bottom and other and then just click on discover devices and then it'll go and scan the network and it will should find everything uh, once of course that skill has been uh, added into your Amazon application. And then the great thing is then what I've got is I've now got my front yard for example which I've created a group. I've added all of those lights into my group and I can easily control all of them all on or all off right from here. And these are all also set up on a timer in an actual schedule to turn on and off automatically at a particular time. So that is how you get them set up and working within the Amazon application. 
So lights are set up, they look really, really good. And obviously we've now got them set up within our outdoor group of other lights that I've got already in use at the front and the back of my home. And adding these just adds another little extra flare to the front display along with my garden lights and other things that are all Wi-Fi enabled as well. Remember to, as always, to like, comment below, and remember to also subscribe to my channel, Digital Bike Computing, clicking on the subscription button and on the bell to be kept up to date with what's going on. Thanks again for watching, really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.